Hello everyone. On the way coming here, this is a, a little river. home town the, this little hometown where I'm coming from I don't really come from from this town I born and lived in the capital city but uh, obviously my last 15 years is uh, connect me here and um, on the way coming here <laughs> I I shouted obviously no one was around and as I knew that no one was around and no one would understand the language I speak that's how I I let myself to shout and shouting like stuff out you know just saying stuff out loud kind of but in a way that was allowing me to channel um, a bit more of my anger that is otherwise would be trapped in inside of my vessel, vessel. and uh, I feel a little bit better now and it was really interesting because uh, that was absolutely spontaneous I didn't know that I was going to do such thing and I I didn't expect myself to talk to myself about this and I I really I'm really feel and really called to talk about this with you because you're most prob probably you going through if not exactly the same but similar so I was uh, screaming about and shouting about that I I don't really care about anybody what they think of me if they envy me if they are jealous uh, just checking if it's okay it's recording yeah we are <laughs> We are finally over the Mercury retrograde, right? So no technical difficulties should uh, happen and screw up anything that I'm intending to speak about. So, yeah, I was feeling in this uh, feeling, I was feeling that I... I so much don't care about what other people think of me or how people feel about me or how people would feel about my situation or my life or even my future whatever you know that I I just It's not they are not going to change this this is not going to change anything about me or anything about them uh, 
I'm just I just want and I'm just concerned about what my life holds for me and the only thing that is held for you and for for me everything that it's held for us it's within us and anybody who is envy or jealous or would love to be in your situation they just simply don't understand how much work how much processing and how much diligence I'm hearing how much daily strength you need to invest into your life in this here and now now I'm <laughs> Even though I came out today, uh, it's said is the the probably the last day here in this country uh, of this uh, beautiful, you know, uh, late summer type of weather. The, the the weather is absolutely gorgeous. Even though it is gorgeous because I came out now it's around 3 now it's around 4 p.m. and I know that the the temperature and the you know the weather as soon as the sun goes down it, it's gonna just uh, really quickly gonna drop and I uh, even though I had many layers on I still you know doing my best to enjoy this uh, beautiful weather and and I came out um, to this river side with my laptop <laughs> my phone <laughs> all of my uh, the not all of my books but the one of my books that I I'm reading now and kind of uh, educating myself uh, on on few things and I am and shifting my mindset about that part of that uh, aspect of my life because <laughs> this month is this month is absolutely gonna be life wrecking in a really good way in a really positive high vibrational way for me and hopefully for many of you at least you know the rest of the 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 this year and it's starting now beyond any other processing that was prior this time this period your life and my life is gonna be like a rocket ship that is departing ready to to set and go and bring you wherever you aim to be according to the divine blueprint and journey that you are on and this is going to blow your mind blow my mind uh, I'm again emotional <laughs> and it's going to be um, quite I'm just hearing this word unnerving unnerving overwhelming let's just say it I'm, I'm not even understand what I'm saying overwhelming 
and mind-blowing for everyone around you if you have anybody at <laughs> if you have if you got anybody around you at this point because I the very last since the very last time I posted a video for you guys within the community uh, within the membership uh, video series I I went through quite a lot a lot lots of release almost cried every single day not just a simple cry but this uh, heartbreaking heart breakingly opening crying and you you know what I mean uh, and I went through some uh, unnecessary toxic arguments uh, with my with my mother and I finally had to had to conclude, accept and face the loss or you know the loss that was the result of between us the vibrational gap that the vibrate the, the huge vibrational gap that causes you know some sort of detachment some sort of distan distancing and some sort of uh, neg neg negligence uh, not even abandonment because I'm just so over this now I'm really over this and done I'm done with this I'm not any longer willing to to descend to a level that would kind of satisfy my family even with my sister actually and and her family is so for me at this point it's it's so toxic that i is dysfunctional and toxic even though I still love them even though I still love them because I cannot stop loving them I cannot stop regarding them as my family I cannot stop you know feeling for them this, this sounded uh, a little bit weird and strange i didn't mean that to, to say this instead of feeling it's like um none i don't feel any pity or whatever that's why i mean that i need to correct myself i mean that i feel this um yeah empathy empathizing with them i don't feel sorry for them they are the the compass and the director of their lives it's it's really obvious and relevant it's really it's undeniable that they choose the way they choose because they want to they they want to experience what they experience that i'm i'm not um i'm not going to stop them any longer i'm, I'm i don't want to stop them any longer and i'm not willing to put more energy into yeah 
this is just a waste of time even talking about this I just realized so the vibrational gap between you and certain people are just so beyond unrecoverable and on match unmatchable better it doesn't come any better I'm sorry no no words or express expressions can come now better than these it's just really it's just really what it is that's the that's the reality you and me probably have to face now and just swallow it like you swallowed the the pill you chose to swallow right to take on this journey you just need to keep swallowing the the consequences and uh, and the result of these uh, of this pill that you chose to swallow and And uh, that's where I'm at, pretty much. I already knew this is going to happen. I just uh, hoped that it, it, it will be uh, smoother. I uh, I kind of re-traumatized myself all over again, in a way. But this is, yeah, what my what my angels and guides told me that this had to happen just because of the the sake of this immense unconditional love that they feel for me. You know, unconditional love is not <laughs> is not at all uh, painless. You know, it's not <laughs> it's not about it's it's definitely without suffering. The intent of have no suffering in it. You know, and it's the intention of. Uh, causing pain for the for the immense uh, benevolent and positive uh, outcomes and benefits you are once you once you face these challenges it's not even challenges once you face these experiences you actually can point on these things and call them like yeah this was a necessary process to even unlock your divine abundance in in your finances for, uh, for example because if um, if anybody on a lower rank now I'm talking real uh, spirituality anybody who is surrounding you in on a lower rank this time is literally pulling you back like crab would pull another crab back to the um, basket we at this point we cannot play around guys we cannot play around anymore we cannot play around we need to completely forget about our human uh, beingness in a way that is just you know you you are better to be a human being in your vessel but completely sink into your god and goddess self navigating this life and you need to take over all of the rules and all of the 
daily regulations of the divine and the purity and that pure the purity of your divinity i hope you understand i hope you understand at this point there is nothing and no one who could hinder you and you as your god goddess self you must make sure that you are living and being this embodiment and my nose is running again sorry guys i hope it's not causing any problems <sighs> yeah you you completely need to you need to um, you need to flip the 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 so far life you lived totally upside down like what i see now in in my mind's eye i can see a uh, a really old this ancient type of uh, one of the first clocks that was in this world you know the the hourglass or the that has the sand in it and you li literally need to flip it over you need you literally need to flip it over and and start to exist and be according to your higher self the god goddess self that you are because in heaven you know there is no hell in heaven there is no hell where there is love there is no fear where there is yeah there is god and goddess there is the divine there is no devil so and that is a daily choice because your daily choices are going to position you whether you are um the embodiment of uh, a hellish experience or the embodiment of your godly goddessly self and experiences you know this is how it is and the the awakening and the enlightenment is just all about this that you see how things are how things truly are and how things are working according to the divine god and goddess the, the this divine and the intentional divine creation and the co-creation process is done there is no yeah there is nothing else this is enlightenment this is this is awakening this is ascension this is ev evolution this is all that is it's nothing else no there is no new thing is just a new perspective it's just a new perception a level of perception there are new new 
uh, levels to this experience and the new levels to this experience happens once you you positioning yourself at that level of consciousness and that level of experience so I'm so beyond uh, over this uh, dualistic uh, who is opposing me who is against me who is my enemy hidden enemies covert ones <laughs> just so over this bullshit I am just I'm just focusing on myself and I I knew I knew I I I knew I felt it I knew that they both my mom and my sister are going to be seriously triggered but I didn't know that it's going to be so painful for me I I honestly didn't um, and I didn't I didn't know that it's going to be like once I finally had the courage and and pants to to leave an absolutely miserable connection behind me then that is going to hit the ground by thousand and as soon as I come out of uh, a, a be basket, a bucket, um, I have to. I step into another basket full of crabs. I, I lit. I was literally. I expected. I expected more. I expected more and I expected better treatment to be honest and I I went uh, I went toxic because I couldn't stand the the feeling I it, it was just too much to to, for me to handle it like a Buddha I had to it's really bad you know but it helped me it's really bad to say this but it helped me to release some of the trauma that I stored within my being I, I don't know there is no excuse you know there is no excuse I mean I wasn't I wasn't that bad probably I'm judging myself a little bit too much or too harshly but uh, but I just wanted to keep it honest with you and not just come here like a messiah each and every time to this video recording myself like I'm the know-it-all it's not that nobody knows ev everything and all never you only know what you're allowed to know and what you need to speak and give your vessel to convey or experience uh, though i'm not pulling my, myself down now and i'm not degrading myself i i'm absolutely aware of my the level of consciousness i'm uh, not just stepping into one but what I'm embodying already 
despite all no matter what and uh, the strength the spiritual strength resilience this yeah what what is coming to me reputation that i have it's pretty much substantial like there is substance in this very very much um i'm just i'm just keeping it real that i'm not perfect and you are not required to be perfect either there is no such thing there is no such thing creation is ever lasting and ever unfolding this only one fact is the proof uh, to to that that there is no such perfection it is just the expansion to be better and better and get higher and higher and becoming lighter and um, and shining more you know so you you definitely most definitely had to hear this because obviously that's why I'm I'm talking about this this is a fact and yeah just uh, just uh, think about it you you know when uh, when god and goddess reclaiming you as their own during this process you literally need to um, drop everything and everybody anybody so this is also one of the things that i'm uh, writing about in my books especially one of the books now i'm <laughs> the 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 amount of uh, um, channeling and wisdom and you know this divine knowledge that is coming through me it's literally i i cannot only write one book that's the point <laughs> with me I'm writing a dozen of books at the same time because it is it is just uh, so much to share and so much to say so much to tell to humanity all over again and so much to discard from from the even the highest truth of these angel um, <laughs> angelic yeah that's had to come out angelic and spiritual ancient wisdom that we've been told and uh, managed uh, to keep throughout these um, throughout the millennia um we shared on this planet <laughs> so far um yeah we need to recycle all of the knowledge and that means the anything that it's uh, not anymore um what I'm hearing that lost its perspective and lost um, lost is its uh, relevance for for the next level of uh, ascension, the next level of consciousness that we are about to embody. It needs to be discarded completely and turned into a higher level of wisdom and knowledge 
uh, that is uh, full of new uh, unheard, unseen, unspoken perspectives, relevations and concepts that we we are little by little can uh, can live uh, through our embodiment that's what i'm hearing so and yeah i know this because uh, others already told it so they, yeah this is obvious <laughs> this is obvious for us at least or hopefully for us not just for me it is obvious um so just let it go just let it go just let it go sometimes i uh sometimes i i seen and observed myself you know um being overly suspicious or mm, started to obviously my ego self and my mind uh, tried to pull me back into this dualistic uh, judgmental space and um, found myself to even play out the victim victor uh, dynamic at least in my head or within uh, during these um, heated arguments that i had uh, with my mom but you really need to remind yourself that it's better to release the energy, you know, without being, uh, without re traumatizing or traumatizing those who, you know, see the world and feel and sense and live the world in different means and you know they probably maybe they know it but they don't probably have the perspective and at that moment the spiritual maturity and uh, embodiment to go through the experience as you know, as they, as they, um, this is actually a confirmation, as they would uh, best think they should even, or others would uh, want them to, to do so. So you need to, you need to just, and anyway, you don't miss anything because new people are coming into your life as soon as you, you know, recycling is, the energy is just transforming, it's never gonna, there is no beginning nor ending, it's just, the better and the earlier you let this uh, thing go, anybody and anything go, the earlier is going to come something or someone uh, to replace it. So focus your days really heavily. Focus your days on spiritual, on, on a, a higher level spiritual routine. That's what I've been called to do that I need to be more uh, um, more 
intentional and more focused on my spiritual um, routine embedded into this physical reality so the practical system of your own spiritual spirituality that's what you need to make as a new norm and to anchor this into your life serious in a serious level in a serious uh, measures so do whatever you called to do your guides and angels going to definitely guide and uh, tell you step by step what you need to follow what is the best for you and obviously your intuition is is another uh, highly highly beneficial tool to understand what is the best for you I'm, I'm going to stop now because I feel like I just would um, repeat myself and I'm also just uh, feel that I'm speaking so I don't have to you know just fill up the space so I need to be silent now and I'm I need to turn the page and do something else so I wish you the the best and um, please cleanse yourself cleanse your energies because now I wasn't the best version of myself energetically coming through probably um, in the video so please make sure that you are not taking on anything that doesn't feel right for you everything in my message is correct precise and divinely guided but i know i'm aware that my energy is not the very very best right now so please make sure that you don't allow anything in that doesn't belong to you okay and I'm going to cleanse myself as well after this because I feel some of yours your energies and let's be honest <laughs> It was better, let's be honest, it was better um, other times. Please, 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 please strengthen yourselves from the inside because it's not going to be easier. It's going to be better, but it's, a, it's another level of consciousness to embody that humanity had no idea that could exist ever in its experience on earth so people are going to react yeah people are going to react and people are going to respond in ways that you have no idea um, you need to strengthen yourselves I need to strengthen myself <laughs> spiritually please rely on your guides angels starseed families and God goddess even your higher self and leave the future I mean embody um, embodiment right here right now momentary embodiment live and be the future right now in this moment in this moment coming moment coming moment coming moment coming moment because 
the present is literally birthing your future there is no tomorrow anymore there is no tomorrow there is only today and today is the future anything that you do see feel think say etc is your future that's your miracle that's your magic and that is your power please do it i love you best for you and best for me bless you and bless me <laughs> talk to you soon